Welcome back to part 9 of Grim Fandango. I forgot what we're doing because it's been a while since we recorded. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Well. Oh, I know what we're doing this part. Uh, there's this guy named Naranja we kind of have to get rid of. Otherwise, the captain won't let us onto the boat. So you could just say orange. Get rid of him. Nice. Wait. There you go. Looks like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Toto Santos, Rubacaba's friendly scrimshaw artist. Wait, so they tattoo their bones? Hola, Toto. They carve into their bones. Ah, not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. Maybe a pair of the J silent. For a guy with no bodily fluids. Oh, I fuck. really doubt I'll be touching that any time soon. That's one old fridge. I'm just gonna continue to refer to him as Mr. Orange. Hey, shot Thor! You slowed down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. Pretty good music. It's a little cabinet. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Should, but you don't. I kill the pain, turn off my drill, stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, silver boy. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need what? to strap you down. I think these are binders of tattoo designs. Are these seamen? nice. And a third one just says Anchor Mania. Yep. <laughs> I told you, Calavera, not now. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot about my date with Inez. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. <sighs> so, how about that, I'm, uh... Cubs game. Uh, I don't watch sports. <laughs> How that, uh. Hmm. Yeah, he's back at this one club. There is this drink here that just knocks out people in one sip. And it's. From the sink. That's nasty. Eh, you won't notice. <laughs> I mean, we gotta get him out of the picture, so. Does it knock them out or does it kill them? Knocks them out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can't kill what's already dead. You have to sprout them. Yeah. Eh? Who is over there? Look, you broke it. Now it won't shot. Nemozogia, hold still. What are you? Dead? Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drugs. Resek Chavarko. What kind of sailor are you? Can't handle booze, huh? What you the us gonna know what anger at the name? Speak things in Spanish. The Italian bullet. Well, let's go. Toto, I got you. Wait, what's that? Was that some total Eleanor? Well, he's so bad. 
I send them to him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he'll make it there by morning. Promise. All I can oh, yeah, think yeah, of is yeah. speaking Arabic. Doesn't look like you're <laughs> showing up to work in the morning. I don't know if this is anymore. Uh, sailor. I thought that was a dragon. Yeah, that's in charge of those in charge. The idea in the first class. place. Cries in Spanish. Ah, tiger can't change his stripes. <laughs> hey, Velasco! <laughs> Speaks word that's not mind? English. <laughs> work, no, right? cries in Spanish isn't that so cool mean. Alright, the dude's passed out, but uh, kinda have to make it look like he's dead. So he's actually out of the picture. Alright, uh, we kinda have a lot of dead air for what, the past six minutes, so, um, Carson, any more observation about the game? Hmm. Let me uh, think of something. We just put Norge to sleep. Toto Santos called. Uh, he's passed out at his place. Yeah, one so he's said. in no shape to sail, right? And he's out cold, but not that cold. I better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. Well, man. Uh, the camera views kind of reminded me of Resident Evil. There you go. <laughs> Ah, the pre render kind of just reminds me of Resident Evil. Why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Get off in what way? A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. It's a metal detector. Oh, that explains why it never gets my hair dry. <laughs> it's music, though. <laughs> Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I needed to find coins in my couch. Well, so are these two I'll going to bone or? When I'm on <laughs> that? No. Busy night. Let's look at the random LOL Everybody's in the background. Gone home for the holiday already. This place is uh, dead. No, what the and fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I did not notice that until now. I don't want to play this game anymore. Uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. Oh, great, this game's ahead of its time with internet memes. When's your break? Dawn. I was behind by oh, today's standards. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time all of a sudden, we can, well, all of a sudden you see a freaking Harambe poster. Danger, <laughs> How did you okay. know? Wait, did either of you watch Ed and Eddie as a kid? No. I have. That was like my childhood. Well, yes. Okay, Para, doesn't this sound like Ed and Eddie music? To tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coach. That part there does. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. What kind of business goes on back there? I still there, remember the, uh... Strip searches. The little jingle that plays whenever you're introducing the episode. The episode card. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? <laughs> Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. <laughs> and you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. <laughs> Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. That's not how it... Oh, you're clean. <laughs> Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Alright, let's make sure she strip searches. <laughs> Good thing we have this drink that's Beautiful. made of golden flakes. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Well, maybe just a sip. So they are good at bone. Blaze, what's with you and skeletons boning each other? He does like Undertale. <laughs> I was about to say, you mean after Undertale? Sir, 
If you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. The only thing spooky and scary about this is that frame rate and the animations. <laughs> Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. You're mad. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Really, he got all that drunk dad, from one sip? The industry in the area was figs. Acres Instantly. And acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never That's really cared for figs. I was like dates like more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? Mmm, dates. They have such a great texture. Never a big fan of prunes. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. I think face. you guys ever been oh. in this situation before. <laughs> Poor grandma Hedwig. She was yeah. always forgetting things. Hedwig, that's an interesting prunes. name. I remember one time back when I was six. <laughs> prunes maybe and dates. I was seven. <laughs> no, 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 no. Six, I had to be six because year. Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now oh, there was Mr. a good Rufus? dog, Mr. Rufus. He was Golden such year, a sweet I mean, little I would pretend, but we not don't ears. Care that he was deaf. He was as deaf what? As the year six? Try to bark. <laughs> and it was six years old. Like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. Why did you say for really Japan? Like cats, do you know, you know exactly why? why? They're just so no, I don't. That's why I'm asking. Lollycon. People think I'm stuck up sometimes. So, Para, how is your day been? Average. Not, not much happened. The first time I, met mm. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went yes. to a single yes. gym. Shy. Shy. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. Don't get me wrong. The boys would ask, school. but I just run away. Disgusting, My boys. mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I just smiled. That that's if I approved of it. She always said. A smile is the most important well, part of any joke outfit. About it. <laughs> well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile oh. when the cops uh. called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy uh. wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma. I've heard this dialogue how often though? And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and How many times have you heard the name Mr. Rufus? Well no, not that, just the whole one parent's drunk and then the other one leaves. Yeah. Followed by crying. That was why I asked earlier. <laughs> you guys been through this before? Don't cry. Uh, no, my dad didn't leave. What? Oh, wait. Well, I mean, yeah, it, 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 listening to someone talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is way too common in movie tropes and TV tropes. And wow, well, you're here. being so insensitive. You think of all the people that need representation. There's representation and then there's actually okay. becoming a trope. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry in town was figs. <laughs> that acres scene right there would have only amounted to nothing more than a cinema sense counter. Really cared for figs. Uh, I heard this part already. I was like dates more or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? I think oh God, no. The part about your metal detector. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Wow, way to go, Actually, okay. I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only one <laughs> you care about is that Colomar Damon. She split it's on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out. No, now. he's the only man that cares about metal detectors. <laughs> all the others just I mean... care about her body. These lockers have I mean, no got strips and just for a metal detector. I don't care who's doing it, but please stop Seems using some, the like, some metal the gear shit. Chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. They're locked. They're lockers. Our walnuts are really that hard. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Oh, at least I ask. <laughs> I'm ready, Dad. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that metal detector in the kitty litter. Giant kitty litter. Gucci, that smell is peor que la muerte. 
Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh no! I hate cleaning kitty litter. <laughs> It smells so fucking horrible. It says revolutionary cat design fuck. leaves can edges safe and smooth for they kids. Chill. <laughs> I don't like chill. cats at all. I like cats until you just until the entire place smells bad. They're like, oh fuck, he's cats been through the killer litter. That's so my dog is cat litter really needs changing. See, <laughs> they shit this is outside. Why I don't have a pet. Or inside. Tempting uh, as it is, I just can't suck. bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. How the fuck do you even Name clean this killer? We're gonna make a mint. Looks like a turkey baster. It says revolutionary design. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Aha! Uh, no. <laughs> No, my sight my smells like shit now. Could be worse. <laughs> How the fuck do skeletons smell? Well, don't let me bother you. How does the skeleton drink? Touche. <laughs> and I didn't drink. And I just close the in them. third class. I think the better question is how does it not. Are you soaked sure or clothes? Hard no, he, he, vis well. he got drunk, though, so they I'm can the drink. Best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Next beach I see, I'm hey, finding sir, me a watch. Hey, you want to borrow my metal detector? <laughs> mm. Would a metal detector help? No, you might find a dog tag of hey, some sort that belongs to a like certain sailor. I don't you know what I'm talking alone. about. <laughs> Do your job, please. <laughs> belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the? Oh. It looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? Orange. Oh, sprouted. <laughs> but... Oh, this he was just that morning. damn drunk. <laughs> sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure. So sadness. we just murdered a guy. I find evidence. Not I we made it look like he was murdered. Stories, but none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. <laughs> well, we just got, we just got a guy kicked from his job. We may have <laughs> hours, but sooner or later, we push up and flowers. declared dead. <laughs> Damn. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Hey, we got one of our tasks complete. One.